Caddy 22 includes a really useful new feature. It's using PDF underlays, which means not just bringing in the PDFs, but also being able to snap to them, to be able to measure, to be able to rescale them to the size that they should be, and of course, trace over them as well. So whether you've got site plans, whether you've got building plans, as we have here, we've got a simple survey plan. We're gonna have a look at how we can get that into Caddy, how we can then convert it using the PDF underlay uh, and the snap snaps to that into something that here we have the uh, the underlay, but something we can snap to. So we can actually create our 3D model from that uh, our 2D plan, our 3D model. That's what we can get, and we can get that very, very quickly. So let's start off by taking a look at how we're going to get this uh, into Caddy. So we'll start a brand new drawing. So this is an absolutely clean drawing, nothing uh, in there whatsoever. Um, what we'll do is we'll just go straight up to the file, insert, and we'll go for this new insert PDF underlay. So when we browse to the PDF underlay, so here we are, so we've got our PDF underlay there, we can see the uh, the preview. We open that up, and what we'll see is that we have not only the different sheets that we have, but also the layers, which we can turn off, on and off with the little uh, light bulbs there. So we can go down, we can bring in as many layers or as few layers as we want. But we're just going to bring in sheet two. So we don't want the whole thing. So the model space and sheets and uh, everything else, all the different paper spaces. We just want the one. So we'll insert that. And it says, where are we going to insert it? Well, we'll just press enter just to accept the, uh, uh, the default there. We'll do a quick zoom extent so you can see what we've got. And a quick regen as well. And there we have it. So we've got our PDF underlay there. Now, of course, we're lucky enough to have on here uh, a measurement. So 11620. So that gives us an idea of how big this thing is. And of course, we can rescale to that because if, if we do a measure on this, so if we just measure, so we'll measure in the X direction here using our snap mode. So going to the snap modes and picking that PDF underlay, so brand new snap mode. So we'll bring uh, our cursor hovering over there. So we've got that. And you can see that we've got something that's pretty tiny. So what we need to do is we need to rescale that. So how do we go about that? Well, we're modifying the drawing, so we'll go for modify. And we have the option here down at the bottom with rescale. So we'll say, OK, we're going to rescale everything because we've only got this one PDF underlay in there. So we'll rescale everything rather than just certain bits of the drawing. And we can say how we're going to do it. So specific factors. Well, we're not bothered about doing that. We'll just scale it from two points because we've got a couple of points we can snap onto here and we can enter the the size that it is. And we can choose whether we want to work in meters or millimeters and so on. So I'll OK that. And it says indicate the first point for reference length. Well, going back to our snap modes, we want that PDF underlay one again. So we'll just say, OK, we're going from there to there. And it says, tell me what the distance is. Well, that's 11620. So there we are. So we OK that. And it says, where's the origin for the scaling? Well, we can just go for the uh, uh, any origin will do. So we could say, let's have that as an origin, for instance. So it says, successfully rescaled that. And if we just measure this once again, so again, with the PDF underlay snap mode from there to there, and we'll see that down here, it says it's 11620 millimeters, which equates to 11.62 meters. So that's a Great start, we've now got something that we can trace over. And of course, we have within Caddy the ability now just to draw up those plans very quickly. So we can use the build tool, so we've got walls, so you can just pick on a wall. So we can put in the height of the wall. We're gonna draw around from the left-hand side, so that'll be the left-hand uh, origin there. Be a straight wall, and we'll make that 315, because uh, that's what the walls are in this particular case. and Choosing our uh, snap modes, we'll see that we're still snapping onto there. We still retain the snap mode. And we're just drawing on over the top. And then we can just say, close on that. So there we are. So we've got our our wall. We can put in uh, some more walls here. So this time we've got... Uh, an internal wall. So again, picking... Uh, snap modes there, and we can do the same again. The spacebar gives us the same, the same tool again, so we can OK that, and we can just snap on from there to there, 
and again so bringing those in and if you want the wall to join in we can simply pick up the grips and just drag them to the defining line of the walls there and that gives us them just joining in to our walls so nice and easy really very very simple there we go uh, and then of course we have things like the doors and windows to put in so we can just zoom in on that we have uh, a window there so we'll go for the window tool you've got a height and where they're going in uh, to the, the head height but we don't know what the width is here so we'll just indicate and we're doing it from the corners so this is just going to give us the ability to just drop them in as we go around so pull over to uh, here so just drop them in drop them in drop them in so see i'm, I'm even picking on the the sills as drawn there very quick and you could, of course, type dimensions in uh, or do any of those sorts of things. Uh, we have uh, some doors to put in. So we'll go for our, our doors. So again, we're going to just indicate from the corners. So I'll say we've got a door coming in here. So with this, because we've got two walls right there, we just tell it which wall we're interested in putting the door into. So let's put the door in there. And we can do the same thing here. There we go. So we've got our doors there. And of course, if we go for option end we can put in a uh, further door now this will be uh, rather a large door and you can see we could just toggle it around the options so just toggling it around that gives us the the options there having said that when we're, we're putting this in we don't want a single door we want that to be a, a double door here so these are all style based so we can say okay well we'll copy that and we'll just call it door dot double that'll do okay that and then when we enter that uh, enter the style that is so we edit the style we just go to the design rules and we say okay let's have a, a look at the sort of door that we're talking about here and just widen that so we can see the full extent of it and we can just go through so you can see you can just toggle through the different styles of doors so they're all there anything you might want sliding doors pocket doors you name it rotating doors just go through get the one that you want to uh, that you want to bring in we'll go for a double apply that and there we are we've got our double door and of course when we put in our, our door now the next one we can just say okay this time we want that double door which is going to be from here to here now we'll just yeah, no, just toggle through and that gives us our finished plan certainly as far as the uh the, the walls are concerned uh if we're bringing things in from the catalog so we have things like the uh wash and basins that we can bring in and we can turn those around so you could say let's rotate that 180 degrees for instance i just bring that in there I'm uh, just going to go freehand because we can just place that down there. We can go to fetch maybe a uh, WC. So we'll pick something suitable there. Here we are. Again, we can turn it around. So we'll say uh, let's rotate it whilst we've got it. So 90 degrees, the time we're going anti clockwise. So I'll just drop that in there. Uh, and there is our plan. So going for a, a 3D view. So with our little uh, view icons there, you can see that that gives us our 3D representation. And we can use the orbit command and then put it into uh, a 3D solid uh, rendered mode just to give us the full impression of that. So there's just a very quick way of, of drawing over a PDF underlay to give you the result that you want and get that information into a form that you can then start to work with. Discover many more Caddy tutorial videos on the Caddy Software channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for frequent news and updates. And why not download your own evaluation copy and try out Caddy for yourself? And whilst you're evaluating, you can get free help and advice via the live support on the website or through the numbers given on screen.